Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Get the Get Together. Let's play The Sims 4 Get Together. It's me, Golden Simmer, and welcome back to my channel. I think this is part number 9 or 10 or I have no clue anymore. I honestly don't even know. <laughs> so, last episode, we went out for a little pool day with Alton, and I think we were with the girls or something. I know we were at the pool because I just had to come back from there. But anyways, as we arrive at our house, who is here but our... Our, I just missed that word up so bad, our new neighbor. At first, she doesn't know who he is, but then, after looking at him for quite a little bit, she can tell this new neighbor who's knocking at her door is really her ex, Kyle Parks. Can you see him through the door right there? He looks so mean. Why did she even date him? I wish I could, like, there he is. Ah, okay. So, she's going to come over here, and of course, she's going to be friendly towards him a little bit, and just ask about Day. Just really, we're not going to invite him in, because once you invite someone in, they have the right, basically, to come in all the time, so I'm not going to invite him in, I'm just going to talk to him out here. I'm kind of just going to... Yabahorn, Continue talking to him a little bit. I mean, we were really good friends when we were going out. But, like, look at him. He just is giving her the stink face. He is not really liking her. She doesn't really like him. She's just trying not to fight because, let's be honest, um, a it girl fighting with someone like him would not be good. So I'm just going to... Did you just hear her? Oh my god, I heard her. She was like, rawr. No, I'm going to kind of give him the cold shoulder. Because we don't really like each other that much. And I'm going to kind of insult. And then I'm going to ask him to leave. I mean, this is my house. Hey, so, guys, you guys just met Kyle. What an ass. Ah, I almost just called him an ass. But he is. He's angry now. I'm just gonna be like, leave. Please. He's like, bye. He like thought that was gonna be better. He had no idea that's where she lived. Okay, so what is Elena? I mean, not Elena. Oh, whoops. I'm going to have her go to the bathroom and then go to bed in the morning. We will make some pancakes or something and eat. But we need to sleep, like, right now because we're so super, super, super tired. Um, I have no idea what's going to go on in this episode. She's a little, um, uh, I want to say pissed. She's a little aggravated because her ex showed up and she probably wants to go out and party with the girls tonight maybe just kind of get her mind off of it a couple of drinks oh. might help honestly um that might be good i don't know where we would go out um i'm thinking Maybe just like the blue velvet. We haven't been there in this LP. Is this gross yet? No. Okay, this is pretty dang gross. So I'm going to throw that away. Um, wait, this is gross now. I love how she has two sinks. We're just going to have a quick meal because we just ate that. But we're still hungry, so we're going to have some cereal. Um... Actually, can I put these walls up, down? Sorry, I was just checking. I remember making a house where there was sort of, like, I thought for sure I put windows in here, and I thought it was, like, the coolest thing because I've been watching a lot of building videos, sort of, and I've got some really, really cool, neat ideas, and I've been trying to incorporate them and kind of put, like, personality into each house 
just like a little bit of coolness, you know, a little bit of different. And I thought I put windows in here. It might be another house. So keep an eye out for that when a kitchen has like these cool windows in them. I forget which house it is. Fertilize a bush. We're not going to pee in a bush. We have more class than that. Class. There's that girl with blue hair. Um, oh my god, there's Elena Sad. Of course we don't know that. There he is. Okay. So what are we gonna do? What does she want to do? She wants to start a club gathering. I think, uh, I don't know. I kind of want... Maybe we should go to the spa or something let's just travel we can start a group gathering there if we need to so we don't need to like travel with anyone right now um or maybe she'll just go alone like who knows like Michaela can be alone if she wants to no she can't all right so let's see we've been there we we haven't been here like invited here I think tonight we are definitely, definitely gonna go out to this blue velvet. I actually think I can't manage worlds while traveling. Okay. Well, I just want to put in a spa, maybe. Oh, yay. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna stop traveling and I'm gonna go to manage worlds and I'm gonna put in a spa uh, just go to manage worlds I think I'm gonna have her go with Elena because um Elena's new to the it girls she hasn't really had one-on-one -on -one time with her and as a leader it's sort of important to know each and every one of your um, members on a personal level now let's remember that Oh, I don't want to be here. Okay, I can show you where the hood rats live, though. Here are their houses. This is the Asian. Sorry if that's racist. The two boys and then the two girls live here. And one of the girls lives here. Um, I think I want to put it in Magnolia Promenade. Promenade. I want to build and I'm gonna just plop in a spa real quick well as le like I was saying Michaela is the leader of it girls and it girls have been going on for centuries and let me tell you there have been some leaders of it girls that have been overthrown and through the times it girls have changed so 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 much um like it depends on the leader if your leader is young and a party girl, of course you're gonna, the it girls are all gonna be about partying. If the leader is sort of older with, like, I'm gonna search spa. Older with kids and stuff, it wouldn't be as much, you know, as, I want it the same size, sorry. I'm trying to do two things at once, but you know. Um, it's just all depending on like who the leader is, is where the thing's gonna go. I think this is eye-catching and beautiful, so I'm gonna put it in. Um I didn't really look at any of the other ones. I just saw that one and was like, well, this is it. <laughs> Anyways, she does not want to get overthrown. She knows she's kind of going back to the old ways of partying all night. And her and Scarlett are, they're not butting heads, but they're sort of, she sees Scarlett's look sometimes um, when something different happens, like when they're partying way too much or I don't know. She just, she doesn't want to get overthrown, so she's, you do need to do some things like 
Oh, this is nice. Like, getting to know each and every single one of them, making sure everyone's happy, doing things like acknowledging their birthdays and acknowledging their feelings and stuff, you know? Girls need that type of thing. Especially when they're in this competitive type of stuff. I really like this lot. Let me just show it to you guys really, really quick. I did not make it. If you want to see who did, just go back and see. So here's a tray and some incense. And here's a room all by itself for the sauna to woohoo in. There's some mud baths over here. I like how it's sort of outside, but also kind of enclosed. I really like that new concept. I've never actually seen something like that or done something like that. So you walk in here in this front door. They have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of nice things outside, even though I don't really particularly believe that all these rocks right here belong there, but hey, to each his own. Um, so you come in, there's places to get changed into your robe, and then big bathrooms, and you keep going, and foot massage, and massage areas are there, and then upstairs, is focused on well there's showers up here and two places to sit all alone kind of kind of hang out by yourself or with another there's meditation a hot tub an outdoor or like a roof terracey grass place and then a whole room for yoga i like it it's good so I'm going to go back to Manage Worlds and I'm just going to go and play Michaela and kind of invite Elena out again. Elena is a new person into the club. She wants to know her interest, what she's about, what she loves. She wants to know everything about her in a way and kind of see her views, see what she wants, what she wants this um, club to do, what she would really like to see happen. She wants to get some new ideas. Michaela is, of course, Michaela's her own person and super confident and um, is totally like, she knows she's the it girl, but as a good leader, she does have to do these type of things. Oh my gosh. And then we're gonna go out and party tonight. This is the last episode for a little bit of Michaela's life. We're going to jump back into Elena's life and see how she's doing and see how her relationships are going and see the drama that's accruing there. Sorry, I have some difficulty <laughs> with my words sometimes. Oh my god. Okay. We're going to travel with Elena. She wants to woohoo and fertilize a bush. This bush is no good because it's just making her have all these types of crazy wants and stuff. Um, so we're gonna travel with Elena to Magnolia Promenade. And we're gonna go to the spot. This is my third video in a row that I'm recording, like right back to back to back to back, because I'm really, really trying to get a lot, a lot, a lot of videos pre-recorded because soon I'm going back to college and I don't know how much time I'm actually going to have to work on this and my channel and stuff. And even though there's no one out there screaming, you have to continue this, I wanna continue it from me. And I also feel like once I start putting videos up there and have a lot of content, I can go out and ask people, sort of, I can like, once I get better, I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna be ashamed to ask my friends to come and, you know, help me out, you know, and watch my videos and subscribe and I'm gonna try to see if, um, I don't know, I really, I would love, I would love if Urban Sims would watch my videos. She inspires me so much. Guys, I watch her 
every single morning. I wake up and that's like the only thing that like wakes me up. And I watch her before I record because it kind of inspires me to, I don't know, get talking. That's my, that's my hardest thing is to talk out loud. I'm so not used to doing it and so used to just being simming on my own and not having to explain what I'm doing or my story to anyone because it's already in my own head. And it's kind of crazy to talk to yourself. But now I'm making videos, so I need to talk. I can't just be a blank couple, a blank half an hour of you just watching me, Sim. I would love, love, love if she watched me because, oh my god, she's amazing. Amazing. Okay, we're taking a mud bath. Look at how relaxed she looks, but like... It's taking down her hygiene. I would have thought it would bring up her hygiene. I guess not. Elena's over here on her phone. After I get out, I do really want to grab some a drink and maybe sit down and talk to her for a little bit. Do some yoga. Before we leave, I want to get like a full body massage because why else would you come to the... Uh, I almost said club. This is clearly not a club to the... Oh, yeah. See, she is stinky. Like, she's got pit stains following her. <laughs> okay. Girl. Right, so I'm gonna... Yeah, you smell yourself. We're gonna grab a drink. And I'm gonna find Elena. Oh, uh... Oh my god, that music is so loud. I wonder where Elena could be. Is that? Yep, it is. I'm gonna show off my muscles. And I'm gonna discuss dancing. I wanna. Oh, her father's back there. I can always recognize her father so fast because he's that crazy guy that is wearing a Christmas sweater in the middle of summer or whatever season it is here. If, if Michaela could walk her little booty over here a little faster, that would be great. Okay. Mika uh, Elena is actually in this pink tracksuit and it just reminds me so much of the Mean Girls movie that was actually on the other night and I watched it. I watched that. Of course. Mm -hmm. I used to hate that movie as a little girl because it like it didn't scare me but like it made me like upset that people were like I don't know we're just getting to know her a little bit I mean this is the gore kind of point of coming out here with her getting to know her seeing if she has our back because that's like a big thing I don't want to be telling my secrets to some girl that's just gonna turn around and tell them. So yeah. I'm gonna share a little secret with her Indeed, and see if she like. Hey Finn. I'm gonna see if it gets back around to me because that's gonna suck if it does. We should get in together. To know that. Oh, that yes. music is so loud. It's bursting my eardrums. Alright, we learned that she's an insider. Well, so are we, so that's good. We're good friends now. What do we know about her? Okay, what? Where would I go? What is this? She has the hip hop max cardboard dance floor. I don't know why. Where did she get that? Okay, Elena. We know she's romantic and an insider, but we don't know her other trait. Uh -huh. That's kind of... <clears throat> Come on, get in. Uh, Ina. Huh. Um, I'm going to discuss interest. Okay, you can see Michaela is just so stinky right now. Gonna blush. Hmm. Cool. Elena is so pretty. I love her. <laughs> We're gonna joke about fashion and see how she feels on like certain things. 
Huh? I want to see yes, of it. if I can ask about. I want to ask about her brother. And I'm going to be like, yo, what's up with him? He keeps trying to flirt with me. Like, what's up? Elena has no idea, really, about her brother. She hasn't been talking to her. I'm going to ask about her career. Even though I know she just quit, but like. Mankayla oh. doesn't know that. Okay. Um, yeah, we're unemployed. Cool. <laughs> Did it say anything about it? Owen is pretty cool. Well, of course you like him. He's your brother. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to the bathroom and shower. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom and shower. I don't know why I need to change into my robe. I think after that, I'm gonna do some yoga... Maybe get a massage. Enjoy this day at the spa. Um, Michaela is living off of a sort of trust fund from her parents dying. And she get, she of course gets all the money she wants from Ryan's family because and from the community and stuff. Because they are supporting her and they think this is a great loss. Of course they don't know that she's spending it on getting a mani-pedi and all this stuff. But hey, that's all part of the drama. When we are done, we're going to do a energy concentrating. Okay, she's very confident now. Alright, we're going to do an energy concentrating. Look, Elena goes walking by. I guess she's leaving. What a little snatch. Is she in here or did she leave? Oh my god, I think she left. I have to sneeze. So bad. Chew! Ah, oh, I bit my tongue. Okay, there Michaela is. I think she looks so cute in this yellow outfit. Oh, what a babe. Ah. We're just zooming through. I think we're gonna grab a little dinner at a diner, um, and then we're gonna go out, or maybe we could just grab some food here, and then we're gonna go out to eat, you know, or no, we're just gonna go to the club, I wanna kinda get this club scene in before I end this part, maybe? I don't know. I still have like 10 minutes. So after she eats this bowl of chips right next to the refrigerator. Is that a, is that fun? Looking at the side of a refrigerator? Okay. And then I'm gonna go out to the club. I'm gonna travel. I don't know who I'm gonna invite. Uh, why is Ryan in a clown suit? What? I'm just gonna travel by myself and like I said before we're going to the blue velvet and I don't know maybe some drama might happen here I actually have some things that I have to do to have the um drama that I re I can't I can't like say it out loud because you guys won't know until like the very end of the the this series. Oh my god, I just like stumbled through all my words. I'm gonna go here. Um because it's sort of it's like a secret. Like think of this uh LP as pretty little liars. Things happen and they might happen right under your nose and you don't know until like a cup like several episodes later several seasons later you find out this happened way long ago and it throws a new curveball that's the same thing in life like things happen behind your back guys that you don't know about like drama is accruing everywhere like somewhere out there one of my friends is sleeping with one of my friend's boyfriends somewhere out there one of my friends is probably beaten up his friend or has like okay girl we have got to get out of change outfit every day we're also gonna clean out spoiled food we oh this girl I do 
not know how I feel about her. I know she's a planner and kind of has like stuff. Some she's a dramatic sim, and I don't know how. Panka. I don't know. Baldroga. I don't know. I've been told to stay away from her because she's a little uh -huh. snatch and a half. But I'm gonna talk to her because ah. I I do not need to be washing dishes in a club. Cause I am Michaela freaking Calhoun or Calhoun or whatever. So I can introduce myself to whoever I want to introduce myself to. Oh my god, Ryan's here too. I'm gonna just dance with him. After I introduce myself, to myself. maybe the exclusives are having like a sort of get together because some of them are here. I kind of just want. I want to hire a pianist because that's what I came here to kind of see. Um, can I dance? <laughs> Oh, Ryan doesn't want to dance with me no more. Alton will probably beat him up. <laughs> She's breaking it down. Okay. It's been like 26 minutes, so I think I'm going to end this. Last episode was probably around 24 minutes. I know I vary in time. It all depends on when a good stopping point is arises when we come back we'll probably still be at the blue velvet turning it up and we'll probably be with the girls or something um so don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and join me back here for another episode in a couple days bye thank you guys